Well, if you've had any repairs done at your house lately, maybe a plumbing or electrical job, maybe you've noticed those in the trades are well paid. And if you've had to wait for your appointment, you're seeing firsthand just how in demand that labor has become. Now, Vermont's governor now says workforce development is an urgent priority, and he's making a big push to get more young people into the trades. Our Jack Thurston has that story. Job site and classroom. There's definitely satisfaction. Ben Russell and other students at the Center for Technology Essex are constructing a new house from foundation to roof under the guidance of experienced industry professionals. There's definitely an open market for construction workers right now. This is one of Vermont's 17 regional career and tech ed centers that balance public high school with rigorous hands-on job exploration. The governor wants to see more families explore this option, calling trades training perhaps more vital than ever in this rural state where there is an aging and declining workforce. It's time we end the stigma around CTE. Phil Scott, who had a successful career in construction before he was elected governor, insists Vermont just hasn't done enough to set high school juniors and seniors on this path, noting we need people to build new housing, to transport patients to hospitals, to maintain HVAC systems in those hospitals, and to fill countless other urgently needed positions across the economy. It's just as important, valuable, and impressive to become an electrician, welder, or EMT as it is to go to Stanford, Dartmouth, or Harvard. So I do think a uh, stigma exists. Bob Travers of the Center for Technology Essex says for too long, society stressed college as the symbol of success, thinking of it as a separate path. But now, career and tech ed students often do seek post-secondary educations and take part in dual enrollment programs. Emily Devers is planning on a few years of classes and formal apprenticeships to achieve her goal of becoming a master electrician. I see it as something that I can further an education in and something that I can really enjoy in my life. In the kitchen on campus, senior Lillian Kirkpatrick will soon be off to Johnson & Wales University to continue her culinary education. I think tech is a great way for high schoolers to learn what they want to do when they get older. And Vermont Technical College says many of its grads in lucrative, high-demand fields like nursing, construction management, and engineering had their career interests first peaked at high school level tech centers. Employers want our graduates. Their only complaint is there aren't enough of them. I'll propose investments. The governor now calling for policies that boost the trades and support workforce development, including investing tens of millions of dollars in upgrading infrastructure at those 17 regional hubs, along with other measures that promote the CTE track to students. There are great jobs here in Vermont and career and tech ed centers can help them prepare for those jobs. Ben Russell's still figuring out what he's most interested in, maybe home framing or installing mechanical systems. But he knows from his experience at the Center for Technology Essex that he'll build his future by building homes for others. It feels great. In Essex Junction, Jack Thurston, NBC5 News.